watching the panel and, well, I guess for the last 40 weeks I've dreamt of uttering the words, would you please welcome Shane Warne. You're back from the, from the Gabba. Was it, was it tough sitting up there in the commentary box watching Stuart McGill on the uh, last day? No, I wish it didn't rain. I wish yes. the boys had a one. But uh, it was actually entertaining in the commentary box, especially mm. Bill. He, he really does get carried. He yeah. loves it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he watches it the wicket going, Oh, yeah, it's got him! It's got him! It's He loves it. Yeah, right. Come on, sit down, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually quite funny. And what's Richie like? Very yeah. impassive and... Uh, he's the professional. Yes, yeah. But... Uh, Anything goes now. It's actually quite fun. Do you get on well with them? Like you, you would have gone out to dinner with Richie or those guys. Been out with Richie a few times. It's uh, Ian Botham and Ian Chappell was a bit uh, yeah oh, yes, frisky. They don't, they don't get on with uh, But no, it was good. Enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And and you know, do you sit there and go, oh geez, it, f it feels great in my lounge room, but now I just <laughs> you know you get a bit of tension. I was a bit. Uh, I was sort of missing it, not being out of there, walking out, having a look at the wicket and all that sort of stuff. But. Uh, I sort of wanted to be out there, but uh, seeing the boys do well was um, pretty good. And hopefully yes. they'll whip the palms in the next few tests. Yes, yes, it was a, it was a close thing. Do you think um, uh, Stuart McGill was unlucky to be dropped for Perth? Well, I think so. I think yeah. he's a little bit unlucky, but I can I can see where the selectors are coming from. Uh, Perth obviously suits the quick bowls. It's back like it was in the old days, fast and bouncy. Suits the offies, but uh, I think Stuart was a bit stiff. Yeah. Yes, because he was. I mean, certainly a lot of a lot of pressure on the guy but um, you know uh, living in your shadow obviously people keep making comparisons and I guess I guess that's unfair for a young bloke starting out but it's uh, it's there isn't it yeah I, I think the comparisons between all the eras all the Australian cricket team yeah. in this era compared to the 70s compared to the 80s which ones right. are best I think those comparisons will always be there but I think the good thing with Stuart is that he's actually being his own man yes he's yeah. doing his own yeah. things he's not trying to be anyone else and he's doing yeah. well but Shane those blokes from the 40s Oh, I hope. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Bradman. Yeah. 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 Run after the ball. It was. <laughs> God, when the ball oh, would go that through. Now. <laughs> we chase the ball. That's <laughs> you know why? Much. They're all smokers. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yes. all. Yes. That cake. Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Thanks very much. Oh, yeah. Thanks for getting I got a lot. Yeah. 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 Give me no. that. Rich, no. <laughs> That's New Year's, that's New Year's Day, isn't it? Yeah, it starts, uh, starts January, January the 1st. Right. Oh, so you're OK now. You can I'm up to about 120 a day now. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can stop them? Uh, well, hopefully I can. Mm. I, um, I don't mind a challenge, so I think... Have you ever uh, tried to give up before? I mucked around with it a couple of months when I was playing footy at St Kilda. Oh, trying yeah, to get in the reserves and seniors yeah. and that stuff. I gave up for a couple of months, but uh, never gave it a full shot. Um, this, time, no. this time you're doing the, the patch thing and... I've got the gum, four gum. milligram gum. Wow. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to trick the boys too when they're just about to walk out, get the gum out the pocket, the nicorettes, and just sort of throw them in. It. <laughs> hey, Jadja, try this. Imagine Tubby at first slip. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you on fire, but mate. Just let me chew gum, I'm not sure. <laughs> Goodness gracious. And we, do you actually speak to the boys? Like when you're working for the nine commentary team, like during the first test, do you pop down the rooms and, uh, or do you kind of keep a distance because you're. I sort of kept my distance, yes. but uh, before the morning, I wish Mark Taylor's congratulations, 100th test. Yes, sure. Wish McGill a good luck on the last game. Mm. And uh, you sort of get to say hello to the boys, but you're, yes. it's sort of strange. You just mm. you do yeah. sort of keep your distance, and you yes. sort of understand the guys from the old school saying, no, we don't want to come down the dressing room. And you say, come on, come down yeah, for yeah. a beer. But right. yeah, yeah. you can sort of, I don't know, you just know and what so they're talking about. And so sometimes, like when you're commentating, do you find yourself saying things like, Excuse my lack of cricket parlance, oh, but nice. oh, that was a bad hit. Yeah, <laughs> and thinking, oh no, oh, I've got to see them after, or he'll know. Yeah, yeah, you know that yeah, sort of yeah. thing. Uh, no, I don't. Not really. No, you just not call it, it as you see it. Yeah. I don't really. Don't like sledging anyone unless I'm actually playing. Yes. Right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> the commentary box, you yeah. sort of say all oh, nice things, but when you're out in the field, you well, you sledge when you the shit out of them, boss. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever been sledged and you've gone, actually, that's a pretty fun <laughs> thing? <laughs> yeah. I reckon I laughed a couple of times. That, um, I tell you, we gave Darryl, what about Daryl Cullinan in oh, <laughs> South Africa? Oh, he yeah. came out and uh, there was this big thing in the papers. I've been to see my psychiatrist. I'm riding the head now. I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Facing Shane Warne's game. I know how to cope with it now. We got a wicket. He came out to bat. And I, the stump mic was right there. I said, I better be close. So the boys sort of stood around there. And I said to him, I said, mate, I'm going to send you straight back to your shrink, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I thought, choose that stump mic there. <laughs> Second ball. Ball. Second oh, ball. Yeah. Yeah. Go back and see your shrink, <laughs> The couch. Yeah, yeah, go, yeah, go, 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 go. Like, in that moment, that time with Daryl Cullinan, for people that don't know at home, 
Uh, I, I don't know how many times you got him, but it was most of the times. Mm. And with the flipper a lot of the time. Did you, did you, did it feel like you're going, this is backyard cricket. I know I'm going to get this clown. Uh, I really enjoyed getting him because every time, <laughs> because every time I worked out the bat, he was at second or third sip. He said, hey, fatso, say some lunch for us, will you? <laughs> <laughs> so I really enjoyed that. Every time I knocked him over, get on your bike, champ. Hey, Shane, Rob, you, you mentioned backyard cricket. Now, Shane, was it a disadvantage for you being a leggy? Because when you bowl in the backyard, it's usually on grass. Yep. The ball doesn't, doesn't spin as much. That's, did you did you have one of those little like concrete sort of little driveways to the hills voice where you could use as a pitch or something? Too much or, information to say. No, no. no. <laughs> or, or on, at the beach on the sand, the ball doesn't doesn't turn as much. I yeah. mean, as a kid, w w were you, how were you able to practice your, your leggies? Yeah. Well, in the backyard, it was just basically I'd always bat second ball because it's six and out in the backyard. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. I hit you for six, and I'd just go and bat. So I didn't oh, okay. really practice right. my leggies okay. at all. That's That's it. It. Yeah, over the fence. Lose it, rock, and start when again. You, when you take a wicket, do you decide how you're going to react? Is you practice? Uh, there's a move you do which I love, which is the. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, did you decide? Yeah, did they just what? just happen on the day, <laughs> or did you think, you know, today I might go, you know, whoa! Because <laughs> <laughs> you can use those if you're opening great. If you like, start, if you, get, you know, you get back in the team and, and oh, just that shit though. Turn to the camera and do that, <laughs> and we'll know you're doing it for us. Yeah. I um, I think. Depends on the situation of the game. You never plan what you're going to do, but sometimes it's a really important wicket or it's really a, yeah. an emotional time sort of thing. You have a bit of banter between the batter and you really knock him over and it changes the game. You've got to be excited and sometimes you carry on like a pork chop. Oh, I love that. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Sometimes it's, great. it's just like a wicket and you you know, no, no, next I reckon next do that. Yeah. I reckon, imagine that. Yeah! <laughs> Entertainment. It's obviously a, psych a very psychological thing, when, especially when you're bowling leg spin. Um, I want to show you something. We've got a bit of uh, NASA Hussein batting against McGill. Look at the facial expression. What does this tell you, this man here facing this ball? Good piece of bowling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what does that say? What is that? Yeah, well, we know what happened, but uh, what's that all about? He must. Did, did he pull his decks down? What did he do? <laughs> I would say that he's got uh, NASA saying to be thinking, I've got no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you think is going to happen then? The light was poor though, wasn't it? The light it? was That's poor, yeah. right. So yeah. he might have been trying to just focus yeah, his yeah. eyes. We'll I give want, him the benefit I, of the doubt. I want to ask you about that dismissal because for, for, for people at home, and you might learn something from this too, <laughs> okay. is, is the normal leg spinner uh, goes, comes towards and goes away, yeah. and the wrong one comes and then goes in. Yep. And he was bowled by a wrong one then. Yep. You don't bowl that many wrong ones, but it's, a, it's an incredibly tricky. It is a good delivery. I, I find with my leg break that I, um, I bowl lots of leg breaks and to batsmen that I haven't bowled to a lot of, I'll bowl a wrong one. Because you're at this end, say you're the non-striker's end, Glenn's down the batting. I bowl a wrong one to Glenn. Oh, I love the thought of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting off on it. So I'm you're, you're at this end yeah. mm -hmm. and you see the ball actually go like a wrong one. Right. So then when you get down there, you know that I bowl a wrong one. Mm -hmm. So you're looking for it. Oh, right? okay. So then if you don't actually bowl it, you might bowl a top spinner that goes straight that looks like a wrong one, and you start to think, is that it? Oh, okay. And he plays for it. So occasionally you bowl it to left handers, I bowl it a bit more. But to right handers, uh, no, I don't bowl it. And, and, and can they pick, can you tell, oh, he's, he's picking me and I won't do it anymore? He's uh, picking it out of the Sometimes hand. it's good when batsmen can pick you. Mm. It's because they don't know when it hits the wicket how far it's going to bounce or turn. Mm. You know you try and turn the ball, mm. and but they don't know how far. So sometimes when they get when they pick you, they get overconfident and they start to play. So obviously it's easy if no one knows which way they're going, but it's okay if they can pick you. You talk well. about letting one rip. What is, letting one rip? Does that mean you? No, <laughs> but I rip out. And then they come in and yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I can pull my finger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I let that go, but you all you all jumped on it like you know. Like, yeah, thanks, okay. Tom. You didn't like okay. it. No, but does that <laughs> mean? Going to you. No, but does that mean you are really, really extending? Does that mean you, you're putting extra pressure on the shoulder? What does it mean? Well, when I uh, when you really give one a rip, there's yep. a difference between just sort of bowling a leg break and really trying to give it everything you've got, which means you get the curve in the air. When you get the yep. curve in the air, that's how much spin you put on the ball. Right. So when you see the ball actually curving in the air, that's the amount of spin you put on it, which means you're giving it a rip. So you don't you don't rip a lot in an over, do you? Probably two or three and over, and the rest of them you sort of build it up pressure and then try and let one rip and try and get the edge or something like that. Because if you let one rip all the time, yeah. generally they'll play and miss a lot, yeah. or they'll just hit their pad. Yeah, so you've got to try and set them up for it. It's, it's fascinating because it's like a game of chess. You have in yeah. front of you 
so many variations, whereas a lot of bowlers can bowl a little bit of swing and a bit of pace. But mm -hmm. you can sort of really think it out and, and really play yeah. with someone's mind, yeah. you know, so to speak. And that's what... I mean, you've only got two arms and some fingers, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I know what you mean, because in yeah. the commentary box, because Ben often commentates on, on you, mm -hmm. and he'll go, here's what he's trying to do here now, or interesting ball. He can, he, he can actually see the chess moves, yeah. and, mm. and then it, it's played out. So it's like a science. Yeah. See, yeah. when I watch yeah. it, I don't, I don't see that. What do you see? Um, well, she I, likes it when the duck walks out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, stuff, no, I can follow some of it, but the strategies and the actual science of what you're doing with the ball. And actually, when I went to, I've been to the cricket a couple of times. It happens so fast, I can't follow it a lot of the time, and I have to pick up my cues from the crowd around me. Well, too, I, tell you what, I, I, I can't it happens understand. So fast. You did an ad for um, Just Jeans. Yep. Now, can we just have a quick look at that ad? Because I can't work out. No, we can't see it. No, we can't. Oh. I've got a couple of. Can oh. I just, in the meantime, ask a couple of quick. When did you, when did you find out that you could do it? Did we down at the beach one day and go shit? No, it doesn't spin on sand. No, no, but yeah. but, but did you? <laughs> no, it doesn't either. You're right. It doesn't. It doesn't <laughs> stop. Don't, stop, don't stop, encourage stop, 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 him, Shane. Yeah, please don't. Sorry, I interrupted you. No, no, no. That's no, no, no. Yes. No, did you actually one day? Did you just go, man? That's. I mean, were you going to be a fast bowler or a medium bowl, pace bowler, and then you just went, geez, I can spin that really, really well. I think as I was like any kid growing up, I wanted to be Ian Chapel or mm. you know Dennis Lee, Rod Marsh, yeah. and uh, I, I used to bat and I used to muck around with a little bit of this stuff, and then I started getting picked in a couple of representative sides and took a couple of wickets, and I think in the end I was in the right place at the right time. Australia was looking for a leg break right. bowler, and uh, I just happened to take a couple of wickets at the right time, and it all happened about eighteen months. Suddenly I was playing for Australia, and I didn't really I only played one or I two games. I think you're underplaying. It. You're a legend. <laughs> no, no, I don't see. I only played one or two flipper games. Flipper that you do, you like invented that, didn't you? Uh, Was that? There's different versions of the flipper over the years, and then you sort of use a different mixture of everyone's and make up your own sort of way of doing it. And so, you just did that. Yeah, mm. and you get all the information off of uh, the zuta. 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 Is that come? How does that come out of the? Can you show that me? It actually, like your leg break comes out like that. Yeah, and the zuta actually comes out like that. So, so why, why can't he hit? So you, your arm comes over and then you just go, you, you no, push that's it a, out. That's a, so that's a Mueller Ritterman. You've got to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, no, um, yes. Uh, he, um, sometimes you've got to be careful that you don't actually throw it. Yeah. So right. when you actually go that way, you've got to make sure that you don't actually... So it's backspin and it skids yes, through. Exactly. Yeah. Shane Simple does have a video out, an instructional video, if you want oh, to get oh, it. So to do it. Okay, if you want to learn now, a few of these details. Can yeah. I just ask you something else quickly? Do you always wear white zinc on your lips? Yep, most of the time. You wear it like even now? No, no. I, oh, I tell you what. Really I tell you, in the makeup room, they gave me some Blistex, and, oh. I put it on, and they said, "Oh, this will just moisten your lips." Yeah, so I said, "Oh, yeah, okay." Yeah. I said, "I'm putting zinc on here." Yeah. <laughs> so they got really white. Yeah, that's a practical white joke. Yeah, 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 so <laughs> yeah, got me. Thanks very much. Just yeah, have a look me. at the uh, Just Jeans ad because oh, I don't okay, understand sure. what's going on here. Please. He's um, what, what's happening is now you've gone. For what I can work out, you've got to. You've gone down to the Twelve Apostles to do the ironing. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> and you decide you don't need the iron, so that I'll bugger that off and throw it over the edge. I mean, you must have had a hell of an extension cord to make it work. <laughs> That's a good idea. It goes off. It goes off. It goes off. Oh. Well, is, we, is that the idea that the jeans they don't need, they don't need ironing? They don't need ironing. Yeah, you it can wash and then hang them up. Came and back and hit you in the head. The, yeah, the iron yeah. didn't. Yeah. Then it kept going around. I hit thinking right. Tony. So you just you didn't you didn't pick your own wrong and. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, 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 Shane, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks so okay. much for dropping by tonight. We really appreciate okay, it. Thank you very much, Mitchell. And we look forward to seeing you back in the baggy green. Hopefully in a test or two. Yeah, hopefully third or fourth test. But I think the fourth test is probably more realistic. Sensational. Please thank Shane. Thanks very much.